to buy Canelo versus Golovkin at 16.95. Press box office on your Sky Remote or visit boxnation.com. There's some big names out there. Um, Khan's boxed before at 160, Amir Khan. Yeah. I would love the Amir Khan fight, man, in what a fight that would be. Um, Where Bill's at now, he, he could get down to like middleweight. That's not, <coughs> that's not a joke, that's not a lie. He could get down to 11 stone. He, what he's done in, in 12 weeks and getting to 11 and a half, with a long camp, he could quite easily get down to 11 stone. He could be a big, big light middleweight. So there's some interesting fights to be made from light middleweight to middleweight, even to super middleweight, if he does if he does as he's told. It's all down to Bill now. If he can do as he's told, commit to the training, realise this is his full-time job, not something he does for a couple of weeks, has a fight and then disappears for six months. He's got a time frame in his mind, he's 20, he's got three years left. And if he's gonna work if you're gonna fight in three for three years, he's got to train for three years. He can't be having time out. So like I say, it's all the ball's in his court. We've had this conversation, Frank. If he disappears for more than a week, then forget December and he's back to square one again, and maybe going to miss a fight next year because he'll blow himself up. So it's all down to Bill, it's all in Bill's hands. If he wants to mess it up, he can mess it up. If he wants to go on to bigger and better things, it's all down to him. So, you know, there's, there's a, a good wide amount of opponents he could pick from 11 stone to 12 stone if he wants. Bill, would you consider 54 at the definitely, listen, Khan's box at 160 before. You know, I've, I've stood aside of Khan, he's... Uh, I just want a good fight, big fights. You know, that's that's the, what I'm in boxing for. Now I want a fight to get me up. He's a very good name. I rate him. I've watched him for years and years and years. I know him in Calbrook. Um, you know, I haven't got it on. Uh, he's a stable mate of mine. But um, if you know, if Carl's looking for a, a big UK fight, then I'm willing to fight him. I'm willing to fight anybody, anybody at all. Would but um, I just want to stay busy. Would you consider fighting Kel? No, he's a stable man. I can't, I can't fight Kel. We'll have enough fights in the gym, me and Kel, yeah. I suppose, in a few weeks. We'll let you know how we get on. You, you said on Thursday you were kind of inspired by the boys at the Indy gym who box on a Saturday and turn up on a Monday. When are you going to be back in the gym? I will be back, like Dom said, I'll be back. No, listen, I've got no need to have more than a week out, have I? You know, a week out. I see a week out, back in the gym, back up Sheffield. And you've got to understand Bill's been away from his home, you know, the kids in, in our gym, they live in Sheffield, so it's easy enough. You've got to have a bit of downtime, you've got to have a week off. You don't need longer than a week off. You can take the dogs a walk, ride his horses, you know, run around the fields, whatever, do a bit of lamping, whatever you want to do. You know, <laughs> but after a week, a bit of road kill, but if you can, after a week, that's it. What, after one week off, you know, what do you need to do after one week? It's just wasting time. So you can have a week off, spend some time with his kids, and he's got to be back in the gym. That's, there's no excuses, that's his job. If you were all working and you're all doing a job, you might get two weeks off a year. All the day or three weeks, you understand? You're putting in 40 you know, weeks of graft. He's, you know, sitting around for six months, twiddling his fingers and playing around with his mates and, you know, whatever he wants to do. So you've got to be serious at this point. He's not 21. Time's running out. He's going to miss his peak in the next two or three years, and he's got to be ready for what he does. So it's all in his hands. It's all down to him. Not down to Frank. Not down to me. Down to Billy Joe Saunders. That's what it is. I'm moving the caravan in Dom's garden. That's it. <laughs> Right, say so you fight could be made without a Carnell 154, probably wouldn't be for a title. Would it still be as huge? Well, it's irrelevant for a title, it would be just a, a great British fight, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, ask you a lot, is it a good fight? Would you like to see that fight? Absolutely. Would anybody want to see that fight? Who's yeah. Carl going to fight? Yeah. You know, he hasn't well, boxed for, the ring for, ages, for a long time, so realistically. Long. You know, and I, I don't call his name by being disrespectful to him, I call his name because I think he's a good fighter, mm. and uh, I've watched him for years. And you know, him, him and Kel are seem miles apart at the moment. But I'm willing, if he wants to come to 160, done it to Canelo. He might not think I'm as good a fighter as Canelo, he's got a chance of winning the world title at 160. I love the chance. So, um, him or, or any other middleweight wants it. Right, are we all done? Yeah. yeah. Thanks as always for all your support.
Press box office on your Skyrim mode or visit boxnation.com.